Hello gamers, geeks and gays. My name is Sturx, and you're probably here for the Outer Wilds, or you're here for me, in which case, thank you. Welcome everyone, I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. I know I've been enjoying producing this stuff, this is like genuinely my entertainment now. I'm actually looking forward to the days where I can record and I can edit and I can upload for you guys. Um, this game has been on my mind. To the point where I started trying to look for merch for the game, and then I realised that it probably isn't the best idea looking for merch for a game I haven't completed, because there's probably spoilers in the merch store. But I did find a cute plushy Reback that I need in my life, and um, but that's a completely different story. What we're going to do today, I think, I think, this is the big thing, this is a think, not a definite. It probably is definite now because I've kind of picked it up. We're going to go looking for the Ember Twin. I don't know which one is which. We're just going to go to the Hourglass Twins and have a bit of an explore because there's a bunch of stuff on the Ember Twin that we need to look into. There's the stuff that dropped in the bombshell at the end of last episode where I feel like this is where they start to figure out time travel shenanigans. Um, there's also something about a fossilized anglerfish that they've used to theoretically come up with a way to avoid the anglerfish at Brittle, not Brittle Hollow, Dark Bramble. I'm getting me words mixed up because I'm a little bit of a silly sausage. Don't get your, mer your words mixed up, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Let us... Is that... Oh my god! Where's that going? What? What? Surely that didn't crash here, because that would be pretty cool if it did. But I can't imagine that just crashed here. Oh my god, it fired it right at us. What the hell's that going on about? So, um, let us take off. There we go. Bit of a false start there. Let's take off. And then we want to be heading towards the Hourglass Twins. Which, from what I remember... Oh, the alignment. Ash Twin! Cool. Yeah. I know. It's not the Ash Twin I want. It's the Ember Twin I want. That was easier than I was expecting. I was expecting you have to get the map up. But you know what? I shan't complain. We will, of course, be looking at both the twins at some point over the next few episodes, probably. Um, but I got a bunch of advice, and you guys in the comments are amazing. You know, I genuinely love your guys' input. Um, and one person suggested that instead of trying to 100% a planet, which is what I have been trying to do, just follow the threads. Go where I feel like going, you know. There's no harm in doing that. And I feel like that is a good way of thinking of it. What is... Is that the core of the planet? What is going on here? Okay, so completely new planet. Where do we start? I mean, there's a bloody great beacon. I feel like that's a good place to start. Or if not, any of these ruins could probably do it. Oh, I, I don't... Oh, what are you... What are you? Why does that look a little bit like the portal thingy? I don't know. Right, I'm going to go to the beacon first. Let's not get carried away. And what's with the big stalk? What's occurred in? This is all very confusing. Um, very new. Uh, right. Let us get on the suit. And let's go and have a bit of a look. Because I... Don't... Right, there's a signal. Where? Now, apparently I can tag these, but I don't know how. Ah! Escape pod 2. Right. What do I do with said escape pod? Can I interact with it? Oh, wow. Oh, cool, so now I can just hear the sounds. What is that? 
let us go and have a look, guys. What is this? We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? A Nona! That's an... Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well, Anona. Everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in this star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. So we've got more escape pods to find? Is this how the Nomai got here? Because Anona was the one who brought the warp core. Anona is from the original... You know, the original Nomai stuff. The original place. This is a new kind. I've not seen this as a writing. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. External temperature prohib prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on the planet's surface. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Launching escape pod 3. Escape pod 2. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Is there a way to find the vessel? Look at it. How many Nomai were on here? If I didn't think the Nomai were good. And cool. And adorable. This would be pretty scary. If this was like any other game, I would be quite afraid, actually, at the, the prospect of there being so many. The, heart, the heat from this star system's sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured the planet's surface, it broke into what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter, Anona, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone. And be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Emergency get escape hatch. Keep moving, friends. There is nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. What makes them interesting? I want to see the interesting rocks. Never mind. They're not that interesting to me. I have seen much more interesting things. I am going to have to keep an eye on my O2 levels. I have realized. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Collius and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later. Why did we live through this? What? Horror. Oh! Ah, oh, that thing's massive! Someone got through there, though. They have got through there before. Oh my god, my oxygen. No, I want to I wanna stay down here. Arrgh. We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage. It appears promising. I believe we should construct long-term shelter there. The cavern Mallory found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Oh, do I commit to it? I'm going to have to commit to it. Oh, boy. Because I know that this game likes to change things as you know time progresses. I'm just, I'm kind of trying to bet money on the fact that there might be trees over there if they have built a shelter. Follow the instructions ahead. Closely now, is it down here or is it up there? I don't know. Let's have a look. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit. Then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upwards. Sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Is there 
Sandfall. Turn left, she said. Keep going till here, to the rock columns. Ah, my head. Did I get this right? If not, I am so screwed. Because crossing the chasm ahead, the bridge Malory and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Ugh. Of course. Ooh. Right. Here we go. You're doing well. There's only a little further to go until you reach Shell's site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Okay. Now is it up or is it down? I don't know. No. Come on. Come on. Please. I need trees. Please. Yes. Yes. Come on. Oh. What's the soundtrack doing? Oh my god. No. No, that is filling up. Quick. That is not fair. Right. Let's... Ah, oh, I'm going to have to make the most of this. Oh, was there anything up there to read? Oh! Come on. No. Please. There we go. Oh, there wasn't anything to bloody read anyway. Right, let's let's go let's start from the bottom. I've got to start from the bottom. Please. I need to hurry. I need to at least see what everything is. No. Oh. I don't know what's through there. Why is this stressful? Please don't be a trap. Please don't be a trap. We're meeting in the fossil fish cave to play this game. Going to if you're too big to climb through the anglerfish overlook hole, you'll have to go through the long way, but it isn't far. Go to stepping stone cave and then up into the fish fossil cave. Tried to get to the fossil fish through the stepping stone cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go into the anglerfish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Because he grew bigger, he's taller than Levi now. Who cares? Ilix is still the tallest. Okay. I'm not going to be able to go back the way I went. Oh no. No. No, no, no. Ah, no. Damn it. The whole place is filling up so fast. Oh, <gasps> lights. Okay, cool. I can actually see now. Right, let's let's just try find a way through everything. So, that's the way I came in, right? Anglerfish Fossil Overlook. This is the bit I'm interested in. This is amazing. Looks like the cave had this come to rest here. We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, Calais and I believe this specimen is pretty very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we can examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin. Clearly this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to the cave. Okay, so, I need to go to the Stepping Stone Cave. Which 
Pretty sure that's what he said, but that's filling up. Oh my god, I've never been so stressed before. The fact I just don't have, even in Outer Wilds kind of ways, I don't have enough time. I need to get a little bit more air. I'm just, I'm just kind of, I think I'm just admitting that I'm just stuck here. Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetime. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. I almost can't comprehend this being this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the Sun Station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Unsurprisingly, idea I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is a defining characteristic of our species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not significant, we will without question destroy ourselves. All life here. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. What is the sun station? Why is... Why is that? Why do I feel like I've seen that somewhere before? I don't have the time. How do I get in there? Not in there, that's for sure. Jesus Christ. Right, let's get out of here before I get stuck. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh. Come on. Just keep climbing. Gravity cannon. Okay. I guess we're going this way. Okay, so we've got none here. Can I just go? Ah, I can just go this way. So I can guarantee, yeah, there's some in that building. <laughs> hey. Ooh! Outwards? <gasps> oh my god, this place is ma- Ooh! Ooh, I have an idea! I'm just, I think I've got an idea. How do I turn this on? If I could turn that on, I could get rid of the... I could get rid of the sand. Right? Surely. That's not a stupid idea, is it? But why is everything... Where's the controls for it? Oh, uh, no. I don't know if there are controls for it. Not this survived, anyway. Oh! Another happy landing? Jeez. I, I can't see anywhere where there's obviously controls for that. The other thing is, well... That looks like it's more leaning more and more and more. I don't know if that's just my imagination, but I don't know if maybe the sand is damaging it. Do maybe I need to come here earlier? My god, look at this place. And the, the sand is still rising. Ah! Shit! Ship, this is not going very well. Everything is just covered now. Oh, right. Let's refuel. Right, let's have, you know, I've got an idea. Let's have a quick look through the log. So we've got a gravity cannon. So that's all the stuff from Brittle Hollow. 
We've got escape pods. A sunless city. That's a that's definitely a Lovecraft uh, reference, right? It's got to be. Um. Oh my god, I've got so much on this. The gnome I learned how to evade anglerfish. No, my children used to play a game in Fossil Fish Cave. There is a way to enter Fossil Fish Cave from Stepping Stone Cave. The entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the anglerfish is fed a light first. Okay. One of the three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system, all three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. So the vessel is in Dark Bramble. I don't like this because I know in like the next few episodes we're going back to the Dark Bramble and I don't like it. <sighs> no, my city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. The Nomite debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Several Nomite opposed its construction, arguing that failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to build that. What's going on? Oh, wow. Why do I feel like we're getting close to that? Oh, right. I guess we can have a look at this quick before everything ends and dies. And I've just seen trees there, which is, you know, a good sign. Right, let's plop her down there. Have we named the ship? Or does the ship have a name? I don't know. So this is Ash Twin, definitely. Oh, is this one of those compasses? Okay. How can I hear Gabbro and... No, no, my ship! <laughs> right. You. Oh, no. What have I done? No, no, no! No! We've only just started! Oh... There isn't enough time. This planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. This is also of note. It disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fantastic? Isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic? This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it. Or even better, we should travel there. I agree. Our first step should be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. I found your note, Malore. Kindly count me among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it's easy to exist. Does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it's sometimes orbits Timbaha. Is that what we saw? We've seen that! No. I feel like we've literally only just got started with this one. And now it's already over. I don't think I'm ever going to get over that feeling. Ever. Like, that one as well felt incredibly stressful because not only are we fighting time before the solar system ends we're also finding time to explore things because it's disappearing there's got to be a way to activate the gravity cannon there's got to be right like, surely, if we can activate the, the gravity cannon, we can feed that ash, that sand, elsewhere. Right? 
right? I'm not being stupid in that idea, am I? But I don't know where. There wasn't any obvious gravity cannon control near there. Not on the surface, anyway. So maybe if we get back there quick enough at the beginning of the next episode, I could have a better look around. Because I feel like that gravity cannon is there on purpose, right? It might not be. The moon! That's the quantum moon. That's got to be it. And that's what we saw around... That's got to be what we saw around Giant's Deep as well. Because we tried to fly into it, didn't we? Mm, there's so many things to think about. There are so many things. This game continuously blows my mind. We need to... Before I move on from Ember Twin... I need to get into the anglerfish. I need to know what's going there. Because if we're going to go to the dark bramble, I need to know how to deal with them. We need that knowledge to be able to survive, right? And I need time. I need to be able to use the gravity cannon or just get there early and explore things. There's so much there. That's the first place that we know of. The, the Nomai... You know, the, the Nomai settled in our solar system. The Brittle Hollow, the Hanging City, might be the biggest. As far as I'm aware. But the Ember Twin... Is one of the first places they settled. Other than, Where the other two life rafts are, I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to have to find them. I'm going to have to track them down. There's there's no two ways about that. I have a list of things there that need doing, and we are going to get around to all of them. I will not stop this series until everything I want to achieve has been achieved. Time is fickle. There's never enough of it, but my god, am I going to bend it to my will. I've got, like, a stubborn streak going. I'm determined to make this work, and I'm determined to genuinely kind of just make this work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I am. I promise. From me to you. You, me, me, you. Remember that bit? I do. Um... Oh my I need this. I feel like I've rambled for long enough. I do. I, I, I'm i just admiring Tim the Hearth now because I just love this place. I, I love the Hearthians. I love the world. I think this game is a masterpiece. Why this isn't more popular than it is, I will never know. I will never know. You guys are just incredible as well. You guys have supported me so much through this. And you support every other small YouTuber that does this as well. And it's just awe-inspiring. Anyway, that's enough from me, guys. As always, I have been Sturks. You guys have just been absolutely incredible. I'll catch you around for the next adventure.